So, okay, so we're at about 88, I guess we could start. Um, so there's really not uh, much to give an update on. All right, um, goodbye. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs> So um, there's nothing really to update. There's no um, stop. There's... Garrido is the new bozo the clown. What's that? <laughs> Tommy Hogan says Garrido is the new bozo the clown. Yeah, <laughs> they'll just never learn. Um, Sorry. Yeah. So yesterday I was I, I was you know given more shit about about what we're doing, how we're doing it, and that they don't like us, they don't like me. I'm like, okay, that's great. Boo hoo, woo hoo. I'm all sad. Was, yeah, but I got no friends. No one likes me. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, crazy. All the stuff that they clowns creep me out. Hold on. I, I I'll give you the third one. There's three in this picture. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> See, Henry, <laughs> Mario. <laughs> That'll be the latest video. See how yeah, you can see all four of us. <laughs> I'm nightmares. I know it's totally nuts, but oh, what can I tell you? I know I love you too, Terry. I mean, Jesus. Um. <laughs> But so we've had some really great stuff uh, happen in the last couple of days, just, you know, kind of on the personal side. So um, went to a lot of the um, police organization retirees, the FOP 120 at Lodge out in Staten Island yesterday, which was very exciting. They do an annual picnic um, and I went and spoke at that. It was really absolutely great to be there. They gave us a donation. So we thank FLP 120 and, um, oh, Carol's here. Hold on. <clears throat> Love Carol pop on in. So then last, then after Staten Island, I jumped down to Long Island, went to Nassau County and uh, popped into uh, the New York Shields, uh, Mike Billis group. And uh, they did a collection for us there, which was wonderful. And uh, I got to see them. and. While I was at Staten Island, I got a phone call. So you know how we're always helping other organizations. Um, and the very first union that came to us for help because they were being forced into a uh, Aetna Medicare Advantage plan is the Stanford Police Association. Many of you have seen our video. If you haven't, it's up on YouTube. We did like a little minute and a half video thanking FOP 120 in Staten Island and also thanking the Stanford Police Department to say, hey, thanks for reaching out to us. Uh, they found us because their retirees were sharing our YouTube channel. They had reached out to Michelle for connection. Michelle put them in touch with me. We spoke with their union, educated them what was going on. They used our information to push back in their collective bargaining to, to prevent their retirees and their active workers from being forced into Medicare Advantage Plan. That is our very first win for a union paying attention to their retirees. Because poor David, he called and he was like, he's like, I don't know who you are, but my retirees keep sending us your YouTube videos. I'm getting beat up. Could you please help me? And he was absolutely wonderful. Open, unlike these knuckleheads. Um, wanted to learn, wanted to understand this. And so we did. We took our time. We spoke to him. We gave him all of our one pagers. We, we told him what he could do to help push this back. And yesterday, while I'm at the FOP, he texted me to say thank you for helping us, that this was uh, very successful for him. It's not over. But first, so this first round of collective bargaining, he was able to push it back. And what we did was we used his union contract and the Aetna contract, as well as our one pagers to help him. So um, so he said, I said, thank you for, you know, for everything. He says, no, thank you. He goes, we didn't do anything. You did all the work. And I was like, well, it was teamwork because if he wasn't open to listening, they never would have gotten this far. Remember the union, pres the union um, attorneys are telling their union presidents, you don't have to worry about those retirees. You don't represent them. And we're like, no, you don't represent them, but that's your future self. If you let your retirees get screwed, you're screwing your own people. You must identify as them. 
And so he did just a wonderful, uh, a wonderful gentleman, uh, David O'Meara from Stanford Police Association. So I give huge kudos to them. And, and we did, we did a little, uh, a, one little one and a half video thanking FOP 120 and then thanking David O'Meara and the retirees for educating their union president, um, as well as, you know, pushing, pushing on and saying, Hey, you need to pay attention to this. So that's, that was our exciting news for yesterday. Um, we are still helping Cortland County because they're going through the same thing. Um, and we wanted to make sure that, uh, well, their legislature approved it without even seeing a contract, knowing what it was about. They were, their personnel office, human resource person was, uh, had hired a consultant who ended up being the broker who sold them the healthcare plan, who not only gets paid uh, like ninety something thousand dollars a year. He also gets stands to inherit thirty five percent of any savings that they that they realize from forcing their workers into a Medicare Advantage plan. So that was really ugly. So now we're trying to help see if we could help them roll that back and help their retirees file litigation against their county. Um, so that's pretty huge. Um, so that was, that's basically, I think our news for, that was a lot of news, but that was, that was our news. Well, I was late because I was at a meeting with uh, the people, the persons running against uh, Julie Menon and also uh, heard about the person running against Keith Powers and the woman I met with, Elizabeth Galuccio, absolutely fully supports us. And if she gets elected to the city council, she's going to sign on with us. Okay, great. That's absolute. That's District 5 against cool. Julie Menon. Very good. Um, and then we did our... we. Uh, we went to go see uh, uh, Susan Zwang last week. So we will be putting out an email for next week. Michelle and I will coordinate some dates together. Put out an email in our newsletter and whoever was at, because we never, we don't have a listing, I think, about who was there. But anyone who was at that, we will, Michelle and I will pick a date for next week to do your first training um, on how to set up Google Voice on your phone and do uh and do to help us start in phone banking so we need two dates next week we're going to try to do one of those to help set up the the self your cell phones with google voice so be prepared for that we might just send out the news um the information like the instruction on that first and then we'll um, hold the zoom class on doing it and then the next the second class will actually be the phone banking part so that's coming up real soon um, but thank you for everyone that came out to Susan's office, even though the weather was kind of crappy. Uh, but it was good to see everybody. That was a really great showing. And and if you did, we did retweet that. I, I have to see if I put it up on Facebook. If I didn't, I will. And I want you to share that photo. I'll also put it on our um, our organization's page, not the group that we're all in, like the group. So the group that we are on on Facebook is a private group, but we also have a public page. So what I'll do is I think I'm going to post it on the public page, link it into our group, and then you can go and share it publicly um, and let other council members know, like when the retirees come out to support someone, this is what it looks like, that they shouldn't be fearful of losing support of the unions because they'd have support of the retirees. So that's what they got. <laughs> right yep so that's all i got you got anything no I'm all right anybody have any questions I think. i'm not seeing any questions but we're also well, like me too for rosh hashanah sending mm -hmm. everybody best wishes for a zisa in a year yep send some guilt my grandmother used to uh give me chocolate guilt well that's hanukkah well i got it at christmas 
You're going to blow my mind here, Miss Marianne. I know. I loved peeling back those gold coins. <laughs> yeah, they always melted. I never liked those. But well, I don't think they're high quality chocolate, but it was just the point you got chocolate. <laughs> all depends. I don't know. But that's all I got. Do you guys got anything else? Because we'll just call it an early day. Yeah, no, that was it. We just wanted to let you know everything is status quo. And again, everybody have a happy Shana Tova. And uh, I think it's 5084, right? I think this you know, sounds uh, right. Yeah. I uh, wasn't there at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, oh, 5784. Sorry. Yeah. What's that? The year. Jewish Shana year. The Jewish year. Shana Tova for the year. 57. Well, Shana Tova means a good year. Okay. Rosh Hashanah is the holiday. Um, I would like to say something to the two gentlemen behind Mary Ann's shoulder no, no, there. Man, get out of the way. There's actually three. It's scary. <gasps> oh, three. Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> Shame on you. Okay, so actually, Carol, they happen to catch me talking to to Vinny, <laughs> and they caught you talking to Mario <laughs> when we were at the parade. <laughs> right. And I said, shame on you. You did. Absolutely. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now you got all three. <laughs> Not you, Mary Ann. Them. You all should right. be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed, the three of you. There's no updates on the appeals court. They're still in appeal. <laughs> right, there's no dates. We haven't heard any dates. No, yet. we don't have court dates yet. So that's still uh, in waiting. Um, and that's it. So um, everybody enjoy their evening and their celebrations and as I always say without you guys we would not be here cool so everyone have a great holiday uh weekend and uh we will reopen the page on Monday oh we right. got one question what what's the question Yolanda question go ahead Yolanda spoke to GHI rep earlier this week about one of my claims and he mentioned how happy their employees are that they still so yes Ellen so um so emblem health employees are union OPEIU local 153 unlike Aetna who has no union and so this is what I keep saying to like these three guys here you know one two and three um that that you should not be advocating for privatizing healthcare when one of the uh, vendors is actually in the CLC who was on that letter and their union president didn't even know that by signing on to what they were doing, uh, they were harming union workers from OPEIU Local 153. So that to me was absolutely horrible. But of course we educated them, but are they listening? I don't think so. Anne will eat popcorn alone. So sad. Ah, oh, poor Anne. <laughs> I don't see Yolanda's question, do you? Yolanda, mm. what's the question? Oh, is Richie Torres and Nicole Maliotakis of Staten Island pushing legislation to protect Medicare? So yeah, so that came out yesterday. Richie Torres from the Bronx, Democrat progressive, introduced legislation bipartisan with Nicole Maliotakis of Staten Island Republican, bipartisan bill right out of the gate to prevent to to actually require that if a employer were to offer a Medicare Advantage plan that the plan has to uh, allow you to opt in not be forced into it and opt out um, so that's that's basically their bill and uh, that was introduced I believe yesterday and that's federal federal that is a congressional bill, yes. So yes, Yolanda. So now we have city, state, federal legislation. We have a case in the Supreme Court, the First Department, and the New York State Court of Appeals. We're juggling elephants. 
<laughs> not not bad for a group of rump retirees. I know. Huh, Mr. Garrido. Now I just need another photo of Harry and tell him to kiss our rump. <laughs> Poor Michelle's gonna gonna need therapy after watch looking at these two. You're welcome, Yolanda. Carol, is there a way we can donate to the group that can be used towards campaigns? Um, Carol, let me work on that because I think it could be as simple as just creating a campaign donation button, or just leave it as separate. Just leave just leave it. Uh, just do a campaign to specifically fund raise for extra funds um, to have that there. But let me talk to the tax lawyers after the holiday uh, and then and then um, and then get back to you on that. But thank you for asking, because um, we know as we get closer to the holiday, closer towards um, Election Day, we're going to want to do some campaigning. Uh, and so it'll be really important to be able to roll some of that out. But the woman I met with, Elizabeth Galuccio, District 5 City Council, she was pointing out to me that the absentee ballots are starting up very, very soon. And then there's early voting. So it's not all happening on November 7th. Right. Should we call our reps for that federal bill. Yes, you can. I think you can. I believe it's already been introduced, um, but I will go and look and we'll put something up on that when we do. Diane, we all love you too. May you be inscribed in the book of life. <laughs> That's what you say at Rosh Hashanah and then the book is closed at the end of Yom Kippur. That's sweet. Getting a big check from you guys to each candidate with a photo op. Oh, gosh, that'd be funny, Carol. I asked Maliotakis to put some fire under Borelli's butt. Well, Carol, what did they, what did what did she say? <laughs> Jim, can we get a name or number of the congressional bill? Yes, we'll uh, we'll we'll look for that. We are not just retirees. We built the unions. Oh, yes, we did, Benjamin. We built those unions. We built this city after 9-11. We rebuilt this city. Absolutely, we did. And we gave our unions everything they have today. Absolutely. That's the city council legislation, not the federal legislation. Okay. All right. So anyway, that's what we got. Um, Car uh, Carol, that is, that is the city council legislation, not the federal bill. We'll post that. We'll post that after. Yeah, somebody wanted to know if they should call their council members for the 1099 bill. So I put that link in there so they can see who already signed on. Oh, gotcha. So they can call the other people who did not sign on because we don't want to keep, you know, call them because I get a lot of emails like that. So I give them the link so that they can follow to see if anybody else signed on yet. So that link that I just put in the chat, those are the one people who the council members who already signed the 1099 bill. You can call the other council members who have not signed on yet. So you can uh, give them a call. Tell them Marsha, I don't know where 18 came in from. There's still 17. I don't know who's 18. So that's all I got. Have everyone have a great holiday weekend. Rest up. Next week, we got more homework. <laughs> okay, more homework. Yay. <laughs> more homework next week. We're preparing. Yeah. That's right. it. Well, as always, thank you, guys. Thanks, moderators. And stay tuned. Absolutely. Well, thank you, everyone. We love you. Be safe. Enjoy your weekend. And we'll see you Monday. That's Ciao. <laughs>